that live report. Now we move to breaking news. A judge just ruling on a lawsuit attempting to halt the Healy administration's emergency shelter cap that was set to go into effect today. Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago joins us live in studio with the latest. Daniel, what can you tell us? Well, Chris, Abby, late this afternoon, the judge rejected the motion to halt the shelter cap. This after reviewing the arguments and evidence presented on court in court on Tuesday. An emergency hearing took place inside a courtroom in Suffolk County on Tuesday. And today, civil judge Deborah Squires Lee reached a decision after reviewing arguments from the state's assistant attorney general and from the group of lawyers for civil rights in Boston who were representing three families sheltering, who they say are on the brink of homelessness. The plaintiffs arguing the governor's announcement in October that the state would no longer be accepting new families into the shelter system as of November 1st undermined the shelter law and did not give 90 days notice to legislature that the change was coming. On Wednesday, the judge decided to deny the motion allowing the emergency shelter cap to go into effect today. Western Mass News got a hold of a ruling in which she says in part... Plaintiffs do not have the standing to enforce the proviso contained in the legislature's appropriations line item, requiring 90 days notice of any changes to the law's eligibility requirements for emergency housing assistance. Emergency shelters are expected to reach the 7,500 family capacity by the end of the week. Now, a short time ago, Western Mass News caught up with Governor Maura Healy in Amherst for an event to get her response to the ruling. This is what she said. I haven't had a chance to review the ruling. I will say that we have reached capacity when it comes to shelter space, provider availability, and also funding. It's why we continue to call on the federal government for assistance. The governor had declared a state of emergency back in August due to the rising number of migrant families seeking shelter here in the Bay State. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll break down the numbers of families sheltering around Western Mass right now. Reporting live in studio, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News. Daniel.